hello guys and welcome back so let's get started with our login screen so let's head over to the lib here right click and then new folder let's name this as authentication and then here let's right click and then new file let's name this as a login screen dot dot so here let's make a step for widget which is going to be our login screen and then here let's return a scaffold so this will be our login screen and then here let's give it a body and then the body for now we can just call it the center as a login screen and then let's get into the screen so that we can start building it so let's head over to the main dot that then here instead of calling home screen let's call our login screen we can hot restart then we are in our login screen so now let's get back to the login screen and start creating it so here instead of uh, this center let's put the case in front here and wrap it with a column so now here the first thing that we want to show here is uh, an image okay so let's put the const modifier here so that uh, we, uh, this error can go away we can remove that const so here the first thing the first child that we want to put is uh, an image we want to show like an icon or but now for my case that's why i want to display now the loti animation here okay so if you want to want you can show your logo for the application or whatever image you want but for this course this is now where i'm going to show you how we can use the loti animations okay so let's minimize and get get over to our browser let's minimize it so now for the loti files just head over to this website lotifiles.com you are going to come to this page if you don't have any account account with this you have to log in create so we can see that i'm logged in with my google account so you can download any lot of files if you are not logged in but it's totally free you can just create an account which is a free account and then you can start downloading so once you create an account you can go on products here and go on free animations so here you can download whatever animations you want to put in your flutter applications okay so you can scroll down and then keep on going the next you can see all these free animations created by people and then you can just download and put in your flutter application for our case we want something to related to our chat application something to show here where we the user is logging in so i'm just gonna go up here and then search for chat okay something like that and then let's click enter so you can see that these are all the animations related to chat so this one i like i've already downloaded this so i'm just gonna show you guys how you can download the one of the one that you like so you can keep on going and then check which one that you you would like to put in your application so for example i want to uh, use uh, let's say this one i'm just going to need to click on it and then here i need to download it okay so i click here and then it says save to workspace to download so i'm gonna save So now that it's saved, I'm in my workspace here. I can go ahead and download it here, okay? I can click on uh, uh, download here, okay? So if we want to get this one now, I can 
click here download but i don't want this one so let's go back here where we downloaded it and then close that and then go to the dashboard to see what i've the other ones that i've saved okay so let's click on dashboard you can see that these are all the animations that i've saved okay so what i want to use is is this one okay so i'm going to click on it and then this is the size you see 17 kb and then i'm going to click this lotty json okay and then i'm going to download now it's downloaded here so what i'll do is I'll, cl I'll, I'll click save then it has brought me where i can download it and then i'm just gonna save it in in my downloads folder okay so i'm gonna save it there now it's downloaded so i can go ahead and close this and then go back to the application okay so now we need to put that file inside the our assets folder so here we need to come back to our assets folder and then you can see that we have the folder images and then we have uh, under assets we also have images so here under assets let's also create another folder so this one now we're going to name it as loti okay this is where we're going to put loti files okay so this is our Lottie image and then now we can go to our downloads and, and then get that folder. So what we can do is uh, we open up our downloads location and then get that file. So I'm going to open up my downloads folder. Here's my downloads folder and then I want this file. So what I will do is I'm just going to get it and drag it inside the Lottie file here. Okay. So you can see that it's this is the file and it it's looking strange okay so don't worry about that so let's just close that and then we can rename it also just for easy reference so we can right click here and then say rename so now here let's rename it as a chat uh, bubble okay so that we can easily call it now we can save it so here is our lottie file and then here is our images file the next thing now to do is we need to go back to the pups.yamaya file here what we need to do is to come to the assets here and then also uncomment this comment that so here we also need to go to assets slash lottie okay and then let's remove everything here then just put the slash like that so this lot is now the one that we have created here okay so we can close this then now that's when we can see our lot file from here but first of all again let's go back to we can minimize this now uh, this build we can minimize so let's go to the asset manager in our utilities asset manager and then let's also call our lot so let's say static const so here it's going to be lot then assets dot lot okay and then here what we want to call is uh, static const so copilot is already assisting us here i want to say uh, chat chat bubble like that and here we want to check inside the lottie with the file name as chat what did we name it chat bubble yeah chat bubble dot json 
like that okay so we can also now close this one and then now here let's show our lot image so instead of this center let's remove this center so for this child let's put our lot image into the size box so let's say uh, sized box and then the height let's uh, let's give it a so height like that 100 and then let's also give it a width so the width height maybe let's give it 200 and then also the width let's change it to 200 and then for the child now let's go our loti so we're going to say loti like that that uh, this loti and then let's remove this this is not what we wanted we are going to say asset and then here you know that we are going to go our asset manager dot loti not actually loti it's called uh, chat bubble like that and then i think we need to import the lot or oh, let's remove the constant keyword now we don't need it up here okay so this is will be our lot image but now to show it we need to stop the application and run it again because we've added the new files there so let's run it So there we have it. You can see that we have our lot file there. Okay, so let's center it. Uh, 